Hey guys, this is Let's Talk Tech Online News with Alan Billings. Not surprisingly, this week, Google Plus released its version of Pages for Business. Now, what does it look like? Now, that's what it looks like. That's a, this is one I created for the Let's Talk Tech Show page. If you uh, guys want to join that, that'd be freaking awesome. Now, th it's pretty simple. It actually looks even simpler than the Facebook page does. But if you are uh, in, it has the same thing. You go down and then you could control yourself. Basically, it almost is similar to logging in as an account. So you basically log into Let's Talk Tech Show using you. So you go from you and you say using Let's Talk Tech Show. Except you can't just go and edit the page as yourself. You can't do that. You can only edit it as your uh, page. So that's a little bit different, still a, kind of the same guidelines. Now, and this is interesting. Now, they've actually followed the same guideline where you could literally pick who your people are that are adding to your circle. So, if, let's, for, let's say for example, that you have all these people, they're fans, and then they're, you know, you, uh, let's say you're doing a, you know, a webcast like this, and you have people that some people want to go on. Some people are just going on because they, they're fans. Some people are going on because they're followers. Some people are going on because they're actually important. And you want to keep the important people aside. Well, with this you can. With the Google Plus page, you can easily add every single one of them to your stream, to your circles. Okay? There are circles, unlike Facebook pages. Facebook pages hasn't gotten uh, the same kind of thing as whatever Facebook calls uh, Facebook circles. I don't know what they call it. Groups, friends lists, whatever. But you have your individual friends list for everyone. So I've made a couple different ones. Uh, VIP, customers, and following and are uh, basically ones that come with it. But I've created some more, such as... Uh, fans and team members and guests so the whole reason those are there is so this way I can go and this way I can say well maybe I want to make a video chat with only guests let's say I'm doing a particular show individually and I only want to use Google Hangout for the guests or I only want to share a doc a Google Doc with the guests, not the entire group. So I could share it using the Let's Talk Tech page, but at the same time, I'm only sharing a certain amount of people. So that's amazing. I love that. That That's one of my favorite features about this. Now, right now, I'm on my regular page, but if I go in and as soon as I click the down arrow and I log on to the Let's Talk Tech show page, it will eventually pop down. It should pop down. There it is. You are now using Google Plus as this page. Your posts, comments, notifications will be from this page. So uh, be cautious of that. That's very important right there. So everything you post is now affecting that page. It's the same thing. Now, just remember that every time you log onto that page, that's you're now onto that page, just like if you logged in through an account. So don't post anything you don't want going out to the public, going out to your fans in that post make sure you're on your actual mainstream you're actually your actual regular account before uh, going on and making any posts let's move over to the pictures section there we go now this is uh, all your pictures for same thing so same thing with Facebook same thing with Facebook pages you can do your pictures. Uh, same thing. I mean, since this is a page that I just created a few hours ago, 
I'm obviously not going to have too many pictures. And I'm obviously not going to probably have pictures from other people. This is uh, photos from other, from your circles. And so I'm just going to go straight down your albums, which I've uploaded two photos. Those are just the main uh, photos. And you can click on them and do the same stuff you could do with any other photo. Change privacy settings and all that. Now, if you go into, you can do photos from your posts. These are photos you've added to your wall. Just same thing with Facebook, you know. And photos of you. These are photos that you've uploaded and your fans have uploaded. And whoever else is on your circles and tagged you in them. Now, let's talk about inviting people. Now, if it sees like this, photos from your circles. Now, there's obviously, I don't have anyone in my circles. So, I'm going to probably want to go and invite people. All you have to do is add a comment. Say, uh, join my page. And I'm obviously sending out to the public because I want everyone to know about this. I share the page and there it is. It's, uh, right now it's going to be on, well, it's on my wall. So let's check it out. There it is. It, it says, come join my page, and it gives you your full description and everything. Now, after you've uh, done your sharing and sent it out, hopefully you get some bites, and hopefully you get some uh, people to join. Next, talk about profile. What does your profile look like on a page? It's very vague. There's, like, almost nothing on it. Now, when you see over here, you could say the uh, same thing. Share your page right on the side there. And then you can see how many people are in your circles, and you can also edit the uh, visibility of who is, like, top. You can do the same thing on Facebook, I believe. And you can see, say, okay, well, this person wants to be top, or this person doesn't want to be top. The Let's Talk Tech show followers or people you're in the circles with. Now, very important, something to keep in mind, that if you are in someone's circle, then you can circle them. As long as they've circled you first. That's the thing with pages, that's a little catch. You, I cannot go and circle Leo Laporte right now. I can't circle him because he has not circled my page yet. So in order for you to circle people, people have to circle you first. Bit of a dilemma. And it kind of uh, actually goes uh, along with a lot of people on Twitter just randomly start adding people just to get followers. So that's what, that's what Google wants to try and prevent is people just randomly trying to get followers and people actually just come to your page because they want to come to your page. Moving over to the circles tab. Ah, uh, the circles tab. I have nobody because I just created this page a couple hours ago. So again, if you want to uh, go ahead and add it, it's Let's Talk Tech Show. Just search in pages, it'll show up. And the, it's the same layout the same exact layout as a normal uh, page it probably will not show you suggestions yeah see it only will show you let's see if I can move over here people in your circles and people you've added it doesn't show you uh, people suggestions on who to add because again like I said you have to they have to add you first they have to circle you first before you circle them so and then there's all my categories, the following, the customers, VIPs, tech, that's uh, other tech people, the guests that are on the show, so this way I can easily send out invites to just the guests on the show, just about certain things, just about certain documents and stuff on, like that, and using Google Docs. Uh, the fans page, which is just about everybody, everyone goes in the fan page, including the guests, but I'm putting the guests in a special section. Uh, and then the team members, which is someone, basically, people who work on the show with me. So, that is exciting. This is, uh, just, hopefully I get these circles all filled up. But I got, they're almost exactly the same, just that you cannot, uh, see a recommendation for who to add. Lastly, I want to be showing you guys exactly how to do the search. Okay, now it's pretty simple. Same thing as Facebook, as we've, uh, already kind of discussed. But you just go in here and you search, let's talk. Now it's going to show up just like the Facebook does, just like Facebook shows you. It's going to show up in categories. If, well, 
sort of. It's going to show it in categories under pages. So it says, okay, well, here's all the pages for Let's Talk Tech Show. And then you can click on it. Please click on it and add me. Or if you want to search a person, you can uh, easily go and just search Alan Billings and you can add me. Or you could add the show page, either one. Or both. They both work. So uh, go ahead, try those out. If you have any other questions, uh, you can go ahead and shoot me an email at letstalktech1 at gmail.com if you have any other news things that you'd like uh, posted. Or if you have any other tech news that you'd like to be talked about on the show, uh, uh, Let's Talk Tech 1, you could also go to our website, letstalktechshow.com. Not the best website in the world, I will admit it. But letstalktechshow.com, if you want information, go there. I am Alan Billings, host of Let's Talk Tech News Online.